Good morning. I'm Kylie Rogers with the Wolfpack News. We begin talking about the tornadoes that hit northern Illinois. Two people were killed from Ottawa and 14 others were injured. Ottawa's, Ottawa was hit the hardest with tornadoes being rated EF3. As you see, it caused serious damage within the area. Recently in Georgia, a couple was arrested for making racial threats to, to an African-American chi child at his birthday party. The couple was riding around with a Confederate flag waving and yelling racist comments while the man pointed a gun at the party and said, I'm going to shoot all of you. The man was sentenced to 20 years and the girl was sentenced to 15 years. Meanwhile, two transgender women were killed in Louisiana within 48 hours, one being gunned down Saturday night and the other being found on Monday morning with many stabbings, stabbing wounds. No arrests have been made yet. The two incidents, police say, have not been related. For national news, Venezuela is down to its last $10 million. Venezuela owes about $7.2 billion in outstanding debt payments. It is unsure exactly when Venezuela will run out of cash. Recently, a high school in Oswego had a pep assembly. The girls and boys basketball teams had a lip sync battle. Both teams put on a show for the school. The school went wild for both teams. The girls team became the lip sync battle champions. A member of the boys basketball team gives us his view on how it went. Um, well, it was a really cool experience because I've never really been in front of that many people. Like all the assemblies, I always see those people standing in the front and it seems like such a cool, like you're the center of attention. And when I was actually out there, it was so much fun. We planned it for uh, pretty much not long, but it, I think it turned out pretty well. And it's actually one of the more fun experiences I've been in at the school. And I hope we do it again next year because it's really fun. So, um, well, it kind of got to the point where we kind of procrastinated enough that someone had to take over. So Kijana came over with the songs and then he kind of just brought them up to us, the different songs, and we chose from there. And then kind of choreo choreography just came right before the dance, basically. <laughs> Recently in sports, the Chicago Bears picked up Tony Romo from the Dallas Cowboys. He was offered a $20 million contract for five years. He is guaranteed $10 million. He is very excited to join the team. He wants to win, and he hopes to bring that mentality into the locker room on, and on the field. Chicago Bears fans are very excited to see what he has to bring to the Windy City. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. See you again tomorrow, Wolves, and have a great day.